Today I'm going to show you how to do a boost leak check on any vehicle that has a turbo application. Um, in my case, I'm going to be doing it on my diesel truck, which is a 1992 Dodge W250. And it has a 12 valve Cummins engine in it. Um, and it has an H1C turbo. The front of the H1C turbo has a four inch um, inlet here. And this kit from Power Driven Diesel has a three inch to four inch adapter and it can just fit right over top of this uh, inlet from the intake and it goes down to three inch. It's got these two nice stainless uh, band clamps on there and then this nice swivel adapter and then this swivel adapter. Um, the kit doesn't include a regulator so you're going to need a regulator. I just got this one off of Amazon and um, I put on these two extra fittings and then these air compressor fittings will line up like that and then I can adjust it to about uh, 20 to 30 PSI. Uh, you shouldn't really go over more than that when you're testing. And then the only thing else you'll need is some uh, soapy water. So this is just a spray bottle and I've got some Dawn dish soap in there um, with some warm water. And then I can spray that onto all the boots and all the all the uh, potential leak areas for when I'm testing. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is remove the turbo intake boot. Next thing to do is put the boot over top of the inlet of the turbo. This so we can tighten our clamps. Now that this boot is on, you'll want to place your uh, air pressure regulator on. And then set it to anywhere between 20 and 30 PSI uh, before you plug it into your, your air. All right, and uh, once you've got it plugged into your air, I got it set at about 15 PSI. You just take your uh, soapy water and start spraying all the seams. So we'll check our boot first, see if we have any leaks. Okay, so I decided to pop the grill off. Um, it wasn't too bad, actually. It was only eight, it was about eight screws uh, to pull the grill off. And then I had to drop uh, this lower bracket here, which was another eight screws, and then pull the AC condenser off so I could get access to the intercooler. Um, the reason I did this was because I could actually hear a pretty significant leak coming from back here. So what I'll do is I'll hook up the um, air compressor on the boost leak tester and then I'll um, spray on the intercooler directly and see where I'm bubbling. Alright, that's just under 30 psi. That's a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. I got leaks on many of the passages here and then I can even feel that 
with my hand, and that's at 30 PSI. Pretty significant on this far end, too. So, don't be surprised. Uh, you know, this is a stock truck. The truck's about 30 years old. Um, you know, don't be surprised that your stock intercooler is not leaking. So, if you start to do boost upgrades like a turbo, um, you know, think twice. Maybe you should up upgrade your intercooler first and that'll get you some gains. Wow. Okay, so I've buttoned back up the front grill here. Now I'll just show you on all the boots um, that I don't actually have any leaks there. All right guys, well I hope that helped um, any of you who want to check your system for boost leaks and um, you know I really wouldn't be surprised any of you guys with old um, first gens like I do, the old Dodge uh, Cummins, I wouldn't be surprised if your intercooler leaks like mine does. Uh, I mean they're all getting to the point now where they're you know 30 years old uh, and the systems are you know starting to get old, brittle and cracking, um, the intercoolers especially so um, you know I wouldn't be surprised if most of them do leak now, so uh, go ahead and check yours yourself and it might be a good time to get an upgrade for your intercooler. So what, I, what I'm going to do next is I'll probably do some shopping for some intercoolers. Uh, I don't know if they make replacements for the stock intercooler or if they make upgrades, but I'll do some looking and I guess that'll probably be one of our next videos then. Alright guys, uh, cheers, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for some more videos.